This blurb is fairly complex. So we've got a process, one, two, three, four. Uh, you can change the background gray that you see there. This text, we start here. You can see it's different on the fun begins. It's also numbered one, two, three, four. This happens automatically. If you remove one of these blurbs, it will continue with that sequence. So it will stay one, two, three. Um, and then we've got this gray text. We've got the underwriting text there. And then this purple line that we can update all of them. So let's get started. First of all, let's have a look at the CTA call to action. Let's see, this is we do it. So this is my way. Let's do that as an alternative process. We'll just call it flow. And then let's keep scrolling, see if we can find anything, nothing. Let's go to design. Uh, there's a gray color for the header text. Let's make that a light green. Okay, let's do that. There we go. And then we'll make this a dark green as an alternative for the body text. There we go. Keep scrolling, see if we can find anything else. And then let's just go to advanced. Normally you want to look through all of these and see if you can find anything. There's nothing there, so let's do a quick example. Okay, so flow, this is my way, great, so that's good. Now this purple line is elsewhere. So this would be under this section, row module settings. And then this is quite complex, so most likely it will be in advanced. Let's see what we got here. There we go, background color. That's the one we want to change. I'm just going to use that same green that we just had a moment ago. Let's look at the view button. There we go. Brilliant. So that's changed. Let's save that. Now we can go into the individual modules. Let's go and change some of those over here. So I'll just call that testing. And we'll just leave that text the same. Keep looking through it. Oh, there we go. So header text color. Again, we'll just go with the dark green, which I have already. And then the body text. Let's just pick another another one. We can go with the mint green that I had before. Let's just keep it uniform. There we go. And we keep scrolling through the settings. See if there's anything special here. There's another one, another color that we want to change, paste that. And then you notice that there was some font uh, when you hover on it. So we we start here, that font, we want to change that. So let's just go, let's just click out of this. And then what you want to do is just look for an area where it says content. Let's go a bit further. There's another color that you can change there. I'll just go with that one, the same one. And then there we go. There's the content that we're looking for. So we're gonna say, I start now as in change, and then we can just preview that. So the only thing left to change would be this gray background. Unfortunately, we can't do that in these settings. For that, we need to go to the custom CSS. So let's update this quickly, and then we can navigate to our master CSS file. Uh, let's just grab that mint green that we had before. And then you wanna go to the process reveal hover blurb. Here you can see is the gray line on hover. I'm just going to replace that with the green. I'm going to copy that and then we can paste it into the page specific CSS. Hit the save button, hit update. And now we can go and take a look. So we've changed the text. We've changed the green stripe. We've changed this text to a different color. 
Now on Hove, you can see it's green. Obviously you want it to be different from your font at the top there. We've changed this text, we've changed that text and everything else. Now you can go through the rest. This is quite a complex blurb, so you'll need to experiment a little bit to get it exactly the way that you want. Thanks for watching. Ciao.